Well, Jeremy Hansen here from Fox Valley Tech with another segment of Life on the Farm. And I have the pleasure today of talking with Dr. Valerie Baumgart from United Veterinary Services. Thanks so much for letting me follow you around this afternoon. And, and, and Valerie, tell me a little bit about what United Veterinary Services is. All right. Uh, first of all, thanks for having us, Jeremy. We really appreciate being here and being a, um, a face in the community. Uh, United Veterinary Service is a team of food animal veterinarians with a passion for helping producers achieve their animal health and production goals. We work together to continuously provide progressive knowledge and skills that suit each operation. Some of this changing weather conditions and the effects of our animals, what are the challenges of managing our cows in this type of changing weather conditions in Wisconsin? Yeah, interestingly, regardless of the weather, the basics are still key. Access to clean, fresh water, high quality, consistent nutrition, well ventilated air, uh, clean, dry bedding, and a comfortable place for cows and calves to lay down, and then some animal health prevent preventative measures such as vaccinations. Uh, realistically, I think that the most challenging part of weather fluctuations is on the people. Um, some things that our weather changes do allow us to touch base with each other and with our protocols on are, are things that we often overlook. So as our snow is melting, it becomes mud. Um, the tractor tires and skid loader tires get more easily dirtied and we like to keep them clean to prevent mixing of manure and mud with feed sources. And now is also a really good time for us to check how well our fans and curtains are running. Right. And you, you mentioned a little bit about your vaccination protocols. Is this something that you've really modified this year specifically, or is this something that's kind of ongoing? Always ongoing. Um, as producers work with their veterinarians, we can make changes based upon products or um, disease challenges that are specific to farms. Um, but constantly, constantly being modified to best suit, like I said, each operation and each producer's goals and each herd of, of animals. What's been some of the challenges over the this winter, specifically on, on, on the cow herd? Yeah, you, you mentioned some weather fluctuations. The most typical disease challenges that we see during weather fluctuations are respiratory disease challenges, um, challenges with mastitis. Um, those, those are really the big ones, but again, it goes back to the keys of management practices and keeping things dry, clean, um, you know, anything to really reduce stress on animals. Right, and the same with calves then as well, correct? Yep, calves are a bit more difficult to manage during weather fluctuations. Um, calves can really only regulate their body temperature between about 50 and 70 degrees Fahrenheit. Um, cows, cows can regulate their body temperature and can produce heat and be comfortable at most temperatures. Um, so calves are a bit more challenging. Um, there's lots of bedding scores, uh, bedding types, calf jackets. Um, so, so different ways to manage calves are a bit more challenging, but we can get the hang of it pretty easily. What tools do you have to really look at some of these early health parameters on, these, on, these, on the dairy farms? That's a great question. So technology is constantly changing and constantly becoming much more useful and much more practical. There's many cow side tools, um, ear tags, collars, pedometers, that tell us things about both individual cows and the cows as a herd. Some of these systems can detect body temperature, changes in their milk components, ruminations, and then their activity as well. So the sooner that you get this information, we can make uh, potentially some changes on the herds then, correct? Yep, it's all about prevention. And uh, you, finally, Valerie, you mentioned that um, part of your, your, your job is to work with the employees on farms. You know, what specifically can you offer to some of the employees on working with the cows every day? Yeah, so touching base with employees, again, is another simple thing that can get overlooked. Our employees are the number one key role on farms. They're the people who are out in the rain, cold, snow, doing the work, um, making sure that our cows are healthy, following protocols. So what we can do for them is to touch base with them, see how they're doing, making sure that they have the tools that they need, making sure they're understanding why we're asking them to do what we're doing. Um, and that, that takes all of us. That takes the management team to be supportive for the employees. 
Yes, and I wholeheartedly agree. So, Dr. Valerie, thank you so much for your time today and letting me follow you around a little bit and uh, seeing what you actually do. Absolutely, thank you for having me. So, so for Life on the Farm, I'm Jeremy Hansen.